Hello everyone. Welcome back to part three. We do have a firefight, firefighting uh, station. We do have a police department now. We're having a problem with death care, so maybe we should look into that. So maybe we can try to look for options that we can afford. Definitely right now, cemetery is one of the cheapest uh, options. Definitely. Uh, good location would be somewhere you know where the major of the population lives somewhere here right so we can sort of like cordon this particular area off we can continue to monitor the adaption of public transportation if we need to link up these two lines we can introduce uh, maybe bus between them in order to improve the connectivity but again bus typically use the road and try to minimize that if you can the road is starting to be slightly congested you can hopefully analyze uh, traffic you can see it pretty much congested in this particular area we can try to fix that maybe and this particular stretch I think is just the tram I guess so it doesn't count you can see that the area where the tram actually you know touched the ground that's you know, there is some level of uh, heavy traffic now if we want to fix this most likely we have to uh, get rid of this road and eventually our power plant has to be replaced so uh, more viable options maybe most likely is to increase uh, the road size and try to avoid uh, displacing our current power plant so let's just try to do this make it here make it there and then start to do this road hopefully people will start using a you know, larger or established road to go into the city we should build a to change there we are out of housing zoning so we should add a little bit more if we could uh, let's check the radius so we shouldn't have any units on that particular stretch but we still can have some here so that is what we're going to do so right now if you look at our tram service yeah, it's doing pretty quite quite well maybe we can check on the tram if they are you know, there's more than 50 percent you can see right as they go into the neighborhoods you can see people dispersing through these uh, back lanes into their particular destination or house hopefully it works this but this station is not that popular due to the fact that there's not many houses uh, around that station so it's okay Let's see if we could improve the second line. This line has lower competency rate. Maybe we can check. Going through. Wow, there's some overlapping graphics there. You can see now line one is definitely more popular with more stops. Yeah, but if they are serviced by the same amount of place, uh, definitely we can try to see if we can improve these numbers right now 386 right so moving forward definitely right now you can see that this is this is you know equivalent uh, demand for all three uh, zoning so we should increase our supply of those zonings you can bring some revenue and hopefully we can move on to providing education so I think we can afford them actually right now let's try to find a good location hopefully where people can to travel to so I think this area even though you know you can see that it affects mostly residential properties uh, so a good sweet spot will be somewhere around here and you can see that the back lane or the pedestrian link is also part of the circulatory network so it, it will extend 
the reach uh, of the or the effect of the school per se. So yeah, I think we'll just put it here together with the fire station and the park, this particular area to improve desirability at that particular corner. Oh, wow, we reach the next threshold, 4,400 uh, population cap and we have this additional uh, facilities, uh, hospital, plants, uh, power, new power plants, policy quarters, skate park, riding, riding stable. That's a bit bougie. This one could fit for some reason. Right. That's nice. Oh, it sl slid under the uh, elevated tramway. So that's good. Now we try to bring as much people as possible to live here. So that your starter city become a real, uh, you know, sort of a good base for you to expand to your uh, more specialized uh, part of town. So let's just try to keep them preppy and nice. So if you look at it, the influence of the housing boom will most definitely benefit another layers. What we could do, we could expand. Let's just try to... So in some additional residential area. Right now, the the power line is cutting off the possible zoning tile, so it's fine. We will, you know, slowly get rid of them as we uh, start to see some of the housing zoning coming in, and we can have uh, two tile gap. Actually, I'm not so sure how far are they willing to walk or cycle, but assuming it's a good range, it's not that far from one night to the next. So it should be okay. Now we have to provide water, of course. This is a new part of town. So there is a shortage of customers. All right. For some reason, while well, people taking their public transportation, they don't actually you know, pass by the particular shop with cars. So it could be a a reason but for now let's try to dampen down the uh, residential demand so you can see the power line is now well connected so we can start to do away with the power grid let's just try to get them so so we're still maintaining our formula and in the hopes that eventually when we have enough money Actually, what we are waiting for is density. Right now, they, they are fairly low density, so there's no point of building tram line because there's not much people actually on it. As soon as there is a turn, now it's an issue. You can add additional power, but of course, it will come with sewerage. Let's do that as well. So we are ready to expand further. Of course, sewage that been left into open water will create pollution. But uh, we are in the stage that is fairly early to, you know, we don't have the technology to actually deal with that. Hopefully, you know, we can stretch the highway here. Now, let's just try to align our commercial area or sort of like our midtown. So there is an offer to buy additional land. I'm not so sure if there is a need right now. Let's just try to improve on, you know, uh, our return to maximize our return first with the investment of a new power plant that we just plop uh, we just which is a, a water palm and also sewage so let's just try to get most out of them first before thinking moving to a new you know area so let's just try to first connect all this power networks right now they are connected by this clinic so it's good so they are connected by that as well okay so we have no further need for the power uh, overhead so we can get rid of them now uh, if you look at it uh, the roads is fairly small but the traffic is not that heavy except the, the one that is here due to the fact that there is a 
for Wei Junction. If you want to improve your traffic, it's definitely better if you try to have them in three way junction. So what we can do, we can stop, you know, slightly early so that they can, you know, make decision and disperse. So there is a good possibility if this could be, this situation could be improved, if we could do this and try to ensure that they are dispersed early on. So instead of making decision, you know, four-way decision, they can make this three. So they can just either go left or right. And then further down the road, they can just, you know, get themselves, uh, uh, orientate themselves where they, they want to go. Mostly, mostly industrial related trucks will go up and the one that leads to the house or commercial will choose to go down so it's sort of like a simple junction of course if you want to you know definitely make it better if you religiously uh, look into connecting the pedestrian as well which is you know I'm doing occasionally as I'm walking through the neighborhood let's try not to go any further than this line maybe we can increase the commercial one more line and then in the between we'll be sort of like a buffer maybe so right now we have two lines hopefully they are doing well 456 which is good always like 10 percent but of course as i mentioned it's not a reflection of the actual number of people traveling because you know one tram is 40 and then this is a full tram like 90 people inside 33 so that is already a few hundreds so it's not like directly proportional to the actual amount of people that actually use the service so that is what uh that is some of the things that we have to keep in mind so don't be dampened by the numbers the numbers might appear minute but that 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 does not mean it, it is not effective so you know, one of the last stretch of residential area, you can have it there. So if we want to build this line, it will end there. Maybe what we could do, we could share with this line and try to bring it here somehow. So it go away, separate it here, and it goes to this knot. It could work as a stride. But of course, building this huge infrastructure will cost a lot, especially when it's elevated. So if we could keep it on the ground, it will definitely save us a few thousands. It's fairly cheap when it's on the ground. But as soon as you elevate them, it's going to skyrocket like nobody misses. So yeah, since we have like a, we are very like, like a very small town, we have to be cost conscious. So this stretch alone is already 4,000. So let's just go low for some of this load. Or maybe we can just like be super minimal. So we are already at the end of our line. So this is line three. Uh, line three hopefully can allow for some integration with line one. So hopefully, eventually they can start to have this interline uh, connection. So that's nice. It's bundled up like that. So we can have some uh, yeah, ways leading to it. Perfect. So we try to, you know, connect all four sides. We can add no track. So maybe stopping here just before the road. And then maybe one more for the housing. Yeah, housing you know internal internal roads and then we stop here just one stop there somewhere there somewhere there somewhere in the middle and then maybe just one stop here try to close close the loop right so there should be now so we have three lines right now uh, hopefully the tram will come up soon. Yes, they are. This is tram for line three. You can see that. They will start going. So 
when you start to have these two lines operating on this single track, then you will have this, you know, some level of congestion. And right now they are purple in color, so it's quite difficult to differentiate. So what we could do, we could improve uh, identification by changing their color, right? So line one will become, you know, maintain purple, while line three will be labeled as yellow. So we can see the cabin uh, is already changed their color to respective uh, line color. So this is the three lines currently operating. We can see the traffic start to grow. Are they going to industrial area? Most of them. I think most of them. Hmm. Only a little percentage people that actually just purchase a house and they are, are coming in into the houses, but yeah, some is delivering items to the rating, but most of them are just circulating this particular area. So if you could try to isolate, get them into sort of like the separate intersection here, it would be nice. But I think industrial road may be due for an upgrade. So to improve their capacity, this would be nice, a symmetrical road. It has, you know, uh, speed 40 compared to, yeah, our gravel road has 30 maximum limit. So this will slightly improve and at the same time increase the number of lanes. So we try to be very economical with our approach. So of course, if you are working on a sandbox, unlimited financial capacity, this is fine. But we can see the 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 Sims taking this, considering as an intersection. So maybe we can delete those and we can uh, start to improve the, the, the flow a little bit. But of course, definitely we need to think about the interchange and then this could fly through the town ultimately going down. We have these uh, current issues of garbage collection. So since it's fairly tilted to one side, so maybe we need to address that particular issue. Uh, of course, we need to think about some of the uh, space that were required by the uh, highway later on. So what we could do is uh, maybe thinking of new facilities that will not affect the houses. We'll try to put them somewhere on the other side of the highway and sort of like give them a small road to to go on top of the highway, the you know, future highway. So let's just have it somewhere here. So they are well away from the residentials. So at least they can service that area slightly better. So this is the fire race. You can see this huge number of buildings with high risk connotation with hazard uh, rating of 59 so maybe we could host fire station here it's fairly secluded as the road leads to nowhere so right now we are having this one this, you know last stretch of tram way available just like optimize the land that we have so hopefully this this tram can can have heightened uh, ridership after this. But if we want, we can add one more. I'm not so sure if if this would help that much. Uh, the impact will not be as great as you know these two new lines because it's just fairly. They are supplementary lines. I know we are not making money out of this, so we're gonna incur some loss by having this tram service. But hey, it's for the <clears throat> the people, I guess. Yeah, we can go here, go up again. Oh, it will be nice if we could, you know, properly coordinate the actual elevation. It will be nice if we could do that and we look back on your skyline too. But as of now, I'm, I'm not going to be that detailed. Uh, we just lay, lay them down to ensure that we can get some uh, efficiency on road overlapping so but it's okay if you want to be you know super perfectionist you can strictly up to individual the elevated flyover is definitely popular which is good so let's just go down to 
avoid them so we are not clashing the same uh, space so maybe in this particular case we could somehow try to bang on this <coughs> stretch so we try to pack into that particular uh, loop so we, we sort of like save on uh, the amount of uh, track that we want to provide uh, let's just connect that so we can you know share we can have a stop here as well on the industrial and let's just try to snip the loop try to create a loop with some terraforming will help because right now it's a bit too steep let's just try to bring them down yeah, I don't think that the tram could turn by itself without the loop so it's kind of like crucial I mean the loop doesn't have to be perfect but let's see what we could do so we are ready for our fourth line which is I think the last line for this particular small town let's just try to get this uh, fourth line ready let's just dedicate line four to do that so maybe we could start somewhere here and then eventually stopping but we are crossing a road so maybe stop there stop here just one stop there maybe here here one here for the industrial and just maybe one here here and wow this is too close maybe not maybe we can do it here yeah so ah it's good it's 600 now it's increasing now we're adding additional uh trams new trams coming out of course uh, we can change the color tram line number four uh could be teal or something like that Yes, after this, we're going to get a higher density residential zone. So definitely we can improve our density and increase our usage of these lines. And some of these pockets can start to be filled. You know, we can sub free up some pockets for parks and why not. Just try to get to 6,500 people. Then we can start having more liberty in arrangement. Let's just get over the threshold and yeah, line 4 is not that popular for some reason. So we are waiting for people in line 4, but why does it does not bring any passenger? Let's follow this line. It looks nice. Wow, so many people there. They must be full. Yes, that's good. Let's just try to keep the car off the street unless it's, you know, absolute necessity. Okay, again, full station, a good sign. You know, people are adopting to this public transit lifestyle. Hopefully, we can maintain that 10% threshold or, you know, slightly more. That would be good. You see this new housing stretch. After this, we can you know, go forward for higher... Uh, value so most of them are stopping here going to shops that would be good for business and you can see how busy the elevated crossway is that's another good sign you know people uh, making purchases and whatnot and i think that will be a good integrated system with four lines unfortunately in the industrial area try to keep the intersection to absolute minimum we just have two loops and it uh, and it fork out into four uh, loops when you go into the residential portion of the town finally we get big town uh, threshold we are expanding of course we have campus area which is good is education is a good business a huge number of policies and definitely this is one of the most important new zones so there's a lot more facilities for us what we could do we could just try to rezone the internal part first to the tram station so let's just try to do that bit by bit of course we're gonna lose some 
uh, residents in the process because we are destroying their house. So literally, we need to you know bear that. In. We're just gonna ease to it, you know, slowly. We're gonna convert all of them to high, higher residential uh, density. Right. Uh, yeah, people are leaving, and people are coming in back. So that's how the process goes. We lose some house in in the in the process and we build new ones. We can start to see the densification process uh, going well and we can continue to do that as we see we you know try to maintain the 6500 threshold. So that is that is it for this episode. Let's just try to densify our residential area and hopefully uh, expand our industrial park. Until the next episode. Take care. Bye.